After installing the Night Mode Pro extension, we can then pin it to our browser toolbar. Simply left click on the extensions here and select the pin option. Upon doing so, it then shows inside our browser toolbar, easily to click on and off. To demonstrate this extension, we'll visit a website such as Wikipedia. So inside Wikipedia, here we can see a standard, it's a very white based website um, with different color schemes throughout. At the moment, we can see this extension is in day mode and this is signaled by the colorful light bulb we see here. If we go ahead and click, we can see the two different mode options, day mode and night mode. Whilst in day mode, we have the ability to go ahead and actually edit certain elements of the page, such as, for example, the brightness. So we can go ahead and edit the brightness by custom, as we see here. We can go ahead and edit the contrast, the brightness at the same time. We can go ahead and uh, edit the sepia tone, which is the kind of the yellow hue of the website as well. This is perfect for the evening times usually, rather than a full dark screen mode, having a yellow hue to the content is a fantastic thing to look at slightly later in the evening to avoid the bright white light. We also have the ability to add the grayscale option as well, and you can see this goes slightly grayer throughout the page. We then have the ability to have the night mode. When we go ahead and click this, night mode will then be turned on. As you can see, when night mode is turned on, the page completely transforms. All of the content of the background that was white has now gone dark, and all of the content on top of this has then changed colors so it's easier to read on the dark background. And again, this mode comes with custom options. So we can change the hue, for example, here. So it goes from being yellow to teal and green to purple and pink, and then back to orange and yellow. We also have the brightness option on the dark mode as well, which is fantastic, especially when you're in low light situations, because the dark mode really does pop. Again, we have the contrast option, and then the sepia yellow hue option here, as well again, the grayscale option. Now, when you select night or day mode, this is gonna be present across all of the tabs on your browser. So for example, if we go to Wikipedia here, it's gonna be on as well. So let's go to a different website. Let's go to Bing. Now, when we go to Bing, this is currently in night mode, as you can see here. We can now go ahead and switch to day mode. Now, what we can go ahead and do here is we can actually whitelist domain names, which basically says to the extension, please swap this to night mode or day mode, but don't affect this domain. So let's add the Wikipedia page. Now, when we go ahead and switch into night mode, you'll see nothing happens. However, if we return to Bing, it's currently in night mode. If we go ahead here and switch to day mode, again, Wikipedia is unaffected. Go back into night mode, and Wikipedia still is unaffected. And that's because the domain has been whitelisted, so the extension doesn't take it into account when changing the appearance of the pages. You can then also remove this from the list as well, and we can swap between the two via this option as well. We also have the ability to have a full options panel inside of the extension. And to access this, you simply right click and select options. Upon the options panel loading, you can then see the different options inside. There's a lot of hotkeys built in with this extension, which is fantastic. For example, you can change through this by pressing things such as Control, Shift and Y. So if we visit a page and press Control, Shift and Y, we can see it's switching between this using the hotkeys. We also have the ability to add things to the whitelist using Control, Shift and U, as well as removing using Control, Shift and F. So for example, Control, Shift and U, Control, Shift and F, U adds it, F takes it away. We then also have the ability to set other options aside here as well. For example, we can enable this on all variations of the domain inside of a web page. So not just the top domain that we're viewing, but any iframes that are inside that page as well. By default, it's only the domain name that is changed, but we can have this affect the iframes inside those pages as well. We can also force other elements such as forcing the dark option here. We also then have further options inside here, but the really fantastic thing about this tool is we can make this automatic as well. So we can turn this on automatically and then select the time of day that we want this to kick in. So for example, we can go ahead and we can say um, at 16.55, we want this to turn on. Let's change that to 15.68. Now when we go ahead and visit a website, it's currently 16.57, so this is turned on. When this goes ahead and hits 16.58, this will then turn off. And as 
as you can see, it's now 1658 and this is automatically turned back to day mode. You then see the full list of all the domain names that you've whitelisted and you can add further to this list, such as copying Bing and adding that. So now when we visit, it's whitelisted and you can remove these from the list as well. This extension is really simple to use and the automatic mode is fantastic, ensuring that you protect your eyes throughout the day at different stages by viewing the most optimized versions of the web pages in terms of coloring based on the natural light of the day.